Hello everybody, my name is Silverweed and once again welcome to School of Dragons. We got a brand new dragon today. I actually had my doubts if we were gonna get a new dragon at all because they had this kind of sale going on where all the eggs were discounted and I thought that was gonna be their excuse on this Friday. But they surprised me and we got a brand new dragon. We got the Snow Wraith. And this guy actually showed up in the series, the new continuation of Defenders of Bird, which is called Race to the Edge, I think it is. And I'm not sure it's out yet, but it's gonna be really soon. And we saw this guy in a trailer or a clip for the uh, for the upcoming uh, series. Uh, so this guy is actually an official dragon, and that's pr that's pretty cool. I've been kind of missing that. Uh, I, I, I never really liked, I didn't like this dragon much when I saw the trailer and I also had my doubts about the model but I actually think it turned out rather decent so let's just talk about it shall we? Um, first off he's not very big, he's not one of the bigger dragons, he has like, he's smaller than, he's, he's like, I mean he's not super small but he's not really that big either. And he's not in the show either, so I guess it's it's fitting somehow. You do have a bit of an awkward uh, riding angle on him when you sit on him. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's minor details, minor details. The texture on him is very nice. We have that, um, kind of, you can call it these kind of small dots or, you know, spikes that stick out of his skin. He also has them on his head, which is really nice. His eyes look really, really great because I thought in the beginning that, that they were just all blue, but he actually just j does have a, a pupil and it's also kind of white around it, so he has a really nice iris as well. It looks really, really cool. I, I very much like that. And of course, he has this kind of eyebrow looking thing, which kind of gives him a little bit more of personality. What I do enjoy about this guy a lot is this thing he has from his head. Like, it's kind of like a, a bump. I wouldn't really call, call it a horn. But it looks like it's going all the way through his head and sticking out of his uh, chin. Like it's a kind of a branch or a piece of wood that he just got shoved through his face and it's sticking out. I think it looks kind of cool. It's it's a very uh, unique characteristic, I'd say the least. And he has this kind of beard thing going on. Looks a little bit like fur, but I'm sure it's not. More spikes here down on the chest also looks really cool. It kind of looks like he has breasts then. It makes him look like he has breasts, like a very... Uh, prominent chest but I think it's cool he has he has hairy breasts perfect uh, spikes on the tail also look really cool uh, reminds you a little bit of the dead Anata I, I, I mean a little bit but they are you know very much shorter and there's less of them he also has this kind of you know uh, spike texture on his knees down here and on his ankles or a little bit above his ankles and he has two toes two two toes on each uh, each foot so that's also kind of cute and he, he they of course reuse the squirrel model so this is the squirrel model over again but it fits him relatively um, okay I'd say it, 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 it's a decent very decent he also has a little bit more of a longer a longer body than the squirrel does but so there's also like kind of things that set them apart which I appreciate uh, one thing I noticed when I was moving around with him is that he looks very, you know, skinny up here, close to the wings. He's very little, um, there's not, the wings are very high up, you know, it looks a bit weird because they're so high up and the, the skin is so, the, the, the amount of back that the wings are connected to are very small. So where would he keep his wing muscles if we were to look at a realistic anatomically? Uh, view on this. Of course, we're probably not supposed to, but where, w how would it really work out? And I, I didn't like it much in the start, but I, I looked for some photos of the actual dragon from the series, and he just does look like that. So it's not because the game developers messed anything up. It, it's 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 spot on the way this dragon looks. So that's just the dragon species that looks kind of funny. Uh, again, squirrel movements. The tail bounces up and down a bit violently, which I like. I think that's that's kind of cute cool the legs you know work really nicely I think they did a re uh, a remodeling of the legs as you will see later on when we take them up for flight they look really good they have very nice movements and somehow this, this, the movements of this guy doesn't look as awkward as when the squirrel does it because with the squirrel I think it kind of looks awkward but this guy kind of pulls it up I would say 
Uh, but let's take him out for flight. Let's uh, put him in the air. Put him in the air. So here was what I ta was talking about with the legs. As you can tell, they have such a gorgeous, nice, smooth movement. Like when you flap your wings, they just kind of like bounce very naturally. There's no like glitching or twitching. It looks really, really smooth, but without looking ridiculous. I mean, it's 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 pretty realistic, I'd say. I mean, he's like in the air and he's like pushing kind of like the air away. I think, I think they look very gorgeous and they are like kind of synced with the wings and the rest of the body. And that's what I've been missing a lot with the grapple ground, that the movement weren't synced, but here they work really well together. And that's just amazing. Uh, the wings are a bit short and they're kind of, you know, crooked off like that. So it looks like the, the, the further out part of it, the tip of it are a little bit like bended all the time. But I think also that's the shape of the dragon. It kind of looks a little bit like a, an airplane wing. Certain airplanes will have these or a kite. It, he does look a little bit like a kite, I'd say. But he has this really nice um, spike sticking out closer to the body that's like kind of long closer to the body sticking out i think that looks really great and he doesn't have like uh those prominent fingers like you would see in a uh, in other dragons he kind of has four close to the body just next to the shoulder and then he has uh you know four other on both the wings i'm like calculating both wings uh out there where the fingers would be so that also gave him kind of like a unique um height kind of look I would say so that's uh, that's that's refreshing for something uh, something different uh, again really smooth movements uh, it looks gorgeous the head is moving like in sync with the body but then again the squirrel model is probably the best model in the game if you ask me because it's very nice but even so they did you know make some alterations on the legs uh, for example with this really I really I love the legs the legs are just gorgeous and with the two toes like it looks kind of cute ding 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 it's very very cute uh i'm i'm actually pleasantly surprised with this guy i had my doubts when he came out but i think they did a good job they did a good, good they did do a good job and we've been missing that a lot i think they've been cutting us short for so long but they did they did this with this one they really did i'm gonna give them some credit for that because it is good it is very good uh, but let's take a look at the stats and see if they are any good. Alright, so here we have him, Snow Wraith. And he's of the Strike class, just like Toothless, which is always nice because it's one of my favorite classes. He has a full house of 7. And that's, that's decent. That's, you know, steadily above average. So I think that's very good. That's pretty good. Like, 7 is a decent thing for every single uh, discipline. That's nice. Uh, so I think he could be a decent racer, definitely. Definitely. The hovering animation is like the squirrel, but his head is very prominent tilted back. He's keeping it like that very steadily. So it, he kind of looks proud, like he's, you know, shoving out his chest a little bit. And he's looking down at his prey or whatever he's staring at. And it looks, I look like it looks co cool, like really good, really nice um, animation there. Again, the legs work really nicely. The legs are really great. Uh, he gains speed uh, pretty nicely looks very natural diving is also it holds up pretty good pretty decent uh he of course shoots snow like uh, any frost dragon but he kind of has like different like you shoot a lot of, of snowballs out that is aiming that's going like in different directions it looks really cool like three different uh different shots in one oh sorry all right, let's go look at that. So you look like it looks really cool. I think it looks great. That's also like still something we know with the snow, but also kind of unique, I'd say. So I mean, th this guy is pretty refreshing. Uh, new, new, new features and new. He's very unique, that's for sure. Uh, but let's take him out for Thunder Run Racing and see how great he does there. Did you see my new outfit? It's pretty freaking cool, right? I think it's very decent. We're in! We're finally in! We oh, well, let's hope we can get a race up in here. We can get a race right away. Perfect. Is my mouse frozen, please? Mouse? Oh, it's there, it's there. 
All right, we got Carlina Petrova with Lightning Dust, and we got with Lily, and we got a Viking, and another Viking with two two dead and And of course, we got mine Shinra Tensei Snow Wraith. So let's just click uh, ready. We are ready. We're ready, right? We're ready. We're definitely ready. Uh, Shinra Tensei. It's actually a. Uh, Attack technique from uh, from Naruto, so it's like a Japanese uh, word for Almighty Push, and I thought it was fitting because he's kind of like a spirit and pfft. it's a long story. Just go with it. Uh, and here we are, ready to race. We got a Scaldron. They are cute. Let's see how ready he does. Go. Glad those made some nice start. I got the boost in. He's so cute. He's just kind of skinny, but he's still kind of fat. And he's just, he reminds me of my dog. <laughs> just love that. Very good. Good speed. Uh, pitching is great. Acceleration as well. But he pitched very well. If I say so myself. Nice turn rate. I love it when you turn and then they just glide. Of course, I can get him to do with that. I'll, I'll mention if, if they do it again. It looks really good. Probably in a left the race. I hope you know what I'm talking about, right? You probably do. If you've been raging, you probably do. Like when it turns on the glide, it's just it's good. Also when you dive, and you just hold your wings there. You just flap and then you and then you flap again. That's good. I love that. I very much enjoy it. And we're catching up the entire round on these guys. Is that a thing? He did it, he was gliding right there. And there we go. And good job. And number one. So that was Racing with the Sand Wraith. Really good, uh, promising, steady speed. I definitely think he's a suitable dragon for racing, for sure. And uh, my view on this dragon is relatively positive. Uh, because I really think uh, he's a unique dragon and... He looks cool. He might not be the most beautiful dragon, but I definitely think he uh, he holds up. He's very quite cute and uh, very unique, I'd say. And I love uh, vibrant, you know, dragons with uh, two wings, two legs, and nothing more. I love those. So um, I say that's gonna be it for the sand raid this time around. Be sure to leave a comment. What do you think about this guy? And if you're gonna pick him up, I mean, if you already had, and what did you name yours and what did you color it? I would love to hear things like that. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and check out some of my other School of Dragon videos. I have a re video on every single dragon ever released. So be sure to check them out if you haven't yet. And if you have, you are amazing. You are anyway. Uh, I'll see you next time. So long, Dragon Riders!